Following confirmation of her having slipped out of the country, the focus of authorities now shifts to who aided dismiss Bamban Mayor Alice Guo from leaving the country without concern agencies knowing about it. Even the very agency tasked to know about such departures was left clueless, indicating either collusion or the use of backdoor options, which would still ultimately need assistance from someone whom the Justice Department want to eventually identify. Luis Erispe has more. After several government agencies confirmed that former Banban Tarlac Mayor Alice Guo is now out of the country and is still traveling to different parts of Asia, even the Malacanang Palace acted upon this urgent matter and requested for the cancellation of passport of Guo. In a memorandum released by the Office of the Executive Secretary, beside Guo, the cancellation of the passports of Wesley, Sheila, and Cassandra Ong was also requested. But the Department of Justice wants to dwell deeper in this issue. As as a matter of fact, they are determined to investigate who is behind this illegal way of Guo to leave the country. Siniguro ni Justice Secretary Jesus Crispin Boying si Remulla na mananagot ang lahat na nagpabaya at hinayaang illegal na makaalis ng bansa si dating banban Mayor Alice Guo. Kaugnay nito, ipinagutos ni Secretary Remulla ang isang malalimang investigasyon tungkol sa umano'y pag-alis ni Guo ng bansa. Even the legal counsels of Guo will not be able to escape accountability from this investigation. Probable cause on their parts is proven. Pinag-aaralan na rin ng DOJ ang pananaguta ng mga abogado ni Guo kung mapatunay ang may kinalaman sila sa paglabas sa bansa ng dating alkalde. Moreover, Justice Secretary Jesus Crispin Remulia himself said even the Bureau of Immigration will be subjected to a probe. Remulia ordered Immigration Commissioner Norman Tensinko to look into the possibility that BI personnel colluded with Guo so she could leave the country. The Philippine National Police has the same stand with the DOJ. Considering na napaka-high profile po nung uh, kaso and na uh, Kilala po halos siguro ng lahat ng nagmomonitor po sa nangyayari si Mayor Guo. Uh, I think uh, with due respect nga po doon sa mga immigration officer natin, it would be prudent on their part to report if there is indeed a sighting doon po sa attempt, at least attempt na lumabas po ng bansa. Although wala naman po siyang whole departure order, but the mere fact po na nailagay po siya doon sa immigration lookout bulletin, it will suffice to at least monitor yung kanyang attempt. To, to leave the country. But the Bureau of Immigration has an immediate answer on this. According to the BI, Goa may have used a fake stamp to get past immigration's check. May nakikita po tayo ng mga individuals na nahuhuli natin sa paliparan na may mga ganun po, mga peke na stamp na pinagawa lang nila sa kung saan para gamitin po, para kunwari tapos na sila sa clearance. At mukhang inabuso po nitong um, si Mayor Alice Guo, yung mga areas kung saan wala pong immigration presence. Um, like um, the, the possible uh, uh, areas po na nakikita natin na possibly po yung ginamit ay yung mga private airstrip. The BI also explained that even with the Immigration Lookout Bulletin, they were not able to determine the travel history of Guo in their centralized database. That's why they are looking into Guo flying by way of a private airstrip or by sea instead. Based on their latest monitoring, Guo is now in Indonesia after her trip to Malaysia. Nakikita po natin na information ay nakarating po siya ng Indonesia. Yun po ang pinaka-recent. Just the other day po, August 18, siya po ay nag-travel from Singapore papunta po ng Indonesia. On the part of the Office of the Solicitor General, they believe these recent events do not have a significant effect on the cases filed against Guo. Even the Commission on Elections said the misrepresentation case against Guo will proceed. And lastly, on the qualified human trafficking complaint with the DOJ, tomorrow, the panel of prosecutors will wait for the affidavit of the lawyer who notarized the document submitted by Guo last August 14. Luisa Erispe from the National TV for a new and better Philippines.